My friend Charlie and I put together a little video for uh, people that are looking for a, a uh, rod holder and also for a cup holder to hang on their float tube. Uh, I'll show you what we got. A little something that's really easy to put together. Um, we'll demonstrate what we have here. What I'm showing you now is this, this tubing that we bought, this plastic tubing with uh, three one inch tees and the rest of it is all three quarter inch tubing. We also bought a piece of three inch round tubing that we drilled a hole in, three quarter inch hole and put it in the side to for a cup holder. We put it together with cabina clips on both ends with little hooks as you can see. We also added a little handle here into the tube we drilled a hole with a cabina clip on the bottom to attach your uh, fishnet to. In case you have, if you're lucky enough to catch something, you can catch, put it in this thing. Um, one other thing we did on the bottom of this uh, three inch tubing is we just added a bolt so nothing would be falling through. Um, Charlie's gonna attach it to the boat, see how, how simple it is to keep it, get it going. Again, with these cabina clips, It's fairly simple to do. You, just, you simply just attach it to the D-rings on the side of the boat, or your float tube, excuse me, and you're ready to go. I mean, all you, all you need now is a fishnet, your, your couple of rods. So you can arrange these T's any way you want to uh, in the form. We have one going backwards, one going forward, so we have no room or don't run into any type of rod while we're trying to operate anything here. So it's as simple as it looks and it's easy, that easy to make. Um, we also came up with a uh, anchor system. Charlie's going to walk on the other side of the boat and kind of show you what we got here. I'll, I'll get around there. Okay, the same thing again. We used three quarter inch tubing, piece of one and a half inch tubing. We put two end caps on, drilled hole, drilled a three quarter inch hole through it to make it a, a spindle. And then we put, added small pieces of three quarter inch all the way around it and wrapped it with string and glued it together. Uh, we added the cabina clips on it to, for the same thing again to attach to the float tube. One other thing is that we kind of put together is a uh, locking system that uh, you, there it is when it's in place you can't move that reel so again he's going to attach it to the boat that is as simple as can be about you know using these cabina clips so once you're in the boat and if you've got the uh, well we want to put one more pole in it that's exactly why we added that little cup holder on, I mean, that little rod holder on the end. In case we have, like you guys that have two, two license, two pole license. So this is ideal. Anyway, once you're in the boat and the anchor is being put out, you're on the bottom. We have a small little opening rod, I mean, piece there that we added to it that you pull the boat up with the, with the rope. Using the using this rod, using the yeah, there you go. If you're on once it's on the bottom, you just want to start yanking up pretty hard. We just go through the little guide pin right there, all the way to the top. Then they unlock the locking system, and then you can roll it right back up. So again. We lock it back up, lay the anchor on the on the side. It creates <laughs> you're not carrying anything in a boat, so it's all ready to go. So I hope we've helped you out here in regards to a cup holder and a rod holder. If there's any information that you want to ask about or need to know, uh, you want to give uh, Charlie a jingle on his email at uh, Alcamino Man, E L C A M. 
I N O M A N 79 at hotmail.com. So again, if you have any questions, you'd be glad to answer them, and then we'll help you out if you need to build a rod holder or a cup holder. So we thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day.